Hi, I'm Jason Lee Bias, and I'm affiliated with the uh, Center for Estate Society and the OU Students for Estate Society, as well as the OU chapter of Young Americans for Liberty. And I think that left libertarianism is especially important because uh, of a, partially for reasons that I actually think I agree on certain levels with the objectivists, which is that I think that a um, strong commitment to liberty necessitates also a culture that can uh, create, uh, that can foster liberty. And uh, the way that, uh, 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 actually is really interesting, a lot of left libertarianism kind of spawns out of some research by the objectivist author Chris Giabara, who um, notes that uh, liber libertarians tend to think, um, well, some libertarians tend to think as long as something is that that it can that libertarianism is amenable to literally anything as long as it's voluntary, which I mean, on one level might be true, but also there are things that, uh, in the sense that we wouldn't want to um, use force against it, but but it's not true in the sense that it's not like that's the only thing that actually matters, and also that's not the only thing that would. That it's not as if every single kind of cultural scenario would actually foster a culture of liberty. Um, what, for instance, uh, e even if you don't care about uh, war large disparities in wealth, if um, one person controls literally almost all of the wealth, then it's very easy for that person to set up a state. Um, so even if you don't care about um, wealth on that aspect, then um, it's necessary uh, to continue a sort of a thoroughgoing commitment to liberty on that aspect, but also um, so a lot of the reasons that we support things like the non-aggression principle um, are backed by values like independence and autonomy, which obviously the baseline is literally limit is limited to, is literally um, non-aggression, but also it also implies general senses of respect and autonomy in the workplace and um, for women and minorities and other issues that are generally considered as part of the uh, cultural left. Um, and I add that uh, the libertarian must also be interested in all kinds of individual liberation from uh, women's liberation to queer liberation to, uh, work, um, to workplace uh, autonomy, things like that. And also I think that uh, it's important to remember that just as much as we Pay central planning at the state level, um, it's not much better at the private level, which is one of the reasons that um, it's good that I, I think that markets have a decentralizing effect uh, to create those things. And it's good to not let ourselves become the straw man that a lot of state socialists see when they see libertarians. It's not that we don't care about issues of social justice and radical social change, it's that we think that those things are best implemented through um, proper respect for independence and autonomy and de radical decentralization through market processes. Okay. Thanks so much, Jason. Thank you.